Hey Scorps, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, Scorps, so we're going to get into this message. Of course, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. <clears throat> if you are new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. All right, make sure that you guys have your notification bell on so that's where you'll know when I go live and post readings to the channel. Also, make sure that you check out the description box for any information you would like to know about myself, the channel, all of my links and websites. If you're interested in a personal reading, my link is down below in the description, okay? Spirit, angels, guides, and divine ancestors, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits. Away from my home, channel, and sacred space. Return the energy back to sender. Tenfold, some more to be. Amen and amen. So overall energy here is release. So with release, this talks about purging, surrendering, letting go. So this is more like the Pisces energy with the hangman. Bottom of the deck, we have sadness and water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Someone may be heartbroken to the fact that you may have surrendered and let the situation go a water sign here hmm someone is feeling lonely and heartbroken that you may have released them so let's take a look let's use a different deck for this reading let's get into it and remember of course to take what resonates with you leave what doesn't all right Let's see. So let's use this deck here. Tell me about release, spirit, angels, and guides for Scorpio. Clarify, release. Let me make sure if these cards are where they need to be. Hang on one second, guys. I want to make sure that they're all set here. Hold on one second. So I haven't used them in a few days, maybe a day or two. So I just want to make sure they're good to go. All right. These are, yeah. So that part is good. Let's see. Hang on one second, y'all. Just want to make sure it's all right. Okay, so it looks like these are good, yeah. So they can quickly <laughs> become in the wrong position, okay. All right, so we're good. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into the message. Tell me about release, what's going on in Scorpio's energy. All right, what is release? It's like you're letting go and letting God, not holding on to something or someone. Purging it. This could be where you're doing spiritual cleansing. All right. So we have the four of wands. Hmm, you could be letting go of a relationship, a marriage, a home. Let's see. Thank you. Six of pentacles and the five of cups. Okay. Yeah, remember I told you there is a water sign here at the bottom of the deck that's feeling sad, heartbroken. Yeah, someone has a lot of guilt, remorse, regret that you're no longer supporting them, giving to them, being there for them. And I feel like the reason that you're releasing and letting go is due to the fact that maybe you felt like you gave more than what you received in this situation. It was kind of one-sided. And someone is in their feelings about it. All right, what's the fourth one? So we have the lovers, Gemini energy. Tell me about the five of cups. Yeah, it seemed like you're letting go of a twin flame connection, a strong twin flame. We have the king of wands. Tell me about the six of pentacles. Thank you. And we have the four of cups. Yeah, it's like you're not supporting, loving, or giving to someone. You're tired of the same old repeated thing in a situation. So yeah, this is definitely a strong twin flame connection here. Hmm. 
someone still has a lot of passion for you, chemistry, excitement. You are what they desire, but they're having some heartbreaking feelings, feeling disappointed, lost. Yeah, that you're no longer accepting any more apologies or accepting how they feel. Mm. Wow. All right, tell me about the lovers. Thank you. And we have the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Could be a very sexual relationship. Someone really wants to win your heart back, win your attention back. They are wanting you guys to start over, have a new beginning in this twin frame collection connection. Someone feels like you're their yang to their yang. Yeah. What's the King of Wands? So someone here can be a fire sign, maybe have Gemini in their chart. See, the king of wands is like an alpha male, male or female, that knows what they want. They go after what they want. This is like a leader, a visionary type of person. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, so the hierophant in the reverse. Yeah, this king of wands is in their feelings because the marriage or this relationship is over. Hmm. You're no longer wanting to be committed to them anymore. Yeah, you kind of separated yourself because someone didn't come or they didn't try to put any effort into the situation. So I feel like you retreated and now you're spending a lot of time to yourself, analyzing, reflecting. Yeah. This may have been someone who didn't really know what they wanted. This is definitely someone from your past that you released and let go. You may have just felt like they didn't put in enough effort, enough work. So you let it all go. And it's like you're starting a new chapter for yourself. Hmm. Wow. All right. So tell me about the Four of Cups. And then I'm going to go back and clarify just a few, okay? What's the Four of Cups? Spirit, Angels, and Guides. It's like they're in their feelings due to the fact, because of the fact that you release and let go, they still have this energy to take action but they're chasing something that's already over page of cups cancer scorpio pisces and we have the two of swords yeah they're definitely bothered to the fact that you're no longer interested in hearing what they got to say any more apologies you're bored disconnected it's like okay i'm tired of always supporting you always giving to you i'm not getting the same energy i'm discontent with how things were going Mm -hmm. And looks like someone does want to apologize, make up to you, communicate with you. But I feel like they don't know what to say or what to do. They're at a crossroads. Yeah. I can't make this up. Ace of Swords. Yeah. All right. So let's dive a little deeper. What's the Ace of Wands? What is the Ace of Wands? Thank you. All right. So we have the Death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah. You like it's over. There's nothing else to save. I'm letting go of this Twin Flame connection. I thought this was going to be a happy home. You know, my happily ever after. Have a lot to celebrate. But now I'm starting a new chapter on my own and I'm ending this chapter so I can begin a new one. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Tell me more about this death card. Tell me about the death card, which is Scorpio energy. It's like a new beginning that's not happening. You're ending this for your own self. What's the death card? You have changed. You have grown. You have evolved. Thank you. Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Wow. You feel like a lot of things when it comes to this individual. A lot of things in the past. It's like you're grown from falling for the okie doke. You know, being in some type of matrix, being confused, or just falling for someone telling you what you want to hear. It's almost like you feel like the past with this individual was just full of illusions. 
fantasies, what it could have been. So you're transmuting that energy and you are growing from that energy. Yeah, there's a lot of things you realize. It's almost like you guys may not want the same things or you're realizing that I want something solid and stable, secure in my life. And even though there's like a lot of unfinished business between you and this individual, right now you feel like it's best for you to pull your energy away and reflect and learn lessons and gain wisdom from this. Because when it comes to this individual, it's like you've already learned some lessons and you're just letting it go. You're releasing it. This is someone you feel like you didn't put enough effort in me to hold on to this. After all this time that I invested, you know, planted seeds with you. Yeah. I wanted peace. Hmm. But someone here does want to start over, have a new beginning, wanting to express how they feel about reconciling after you guys have put some time and energy into this. But I feel like you've already made your mind up when it comes to this person. Almost like they're not doing enough. They're not doing enough. And you want happiness, you want positivity, you want growth, expansion, and you want marriage and solid commitment. But you and this person may not be on the same page. There's a lot of history, a lot of emotions that's tied to this situation. Mm. What's this Seven of Cups spirit? Thank you. Yeah, so something to do with an Aries here. It's almost like this masculine energy is almost like they're not spiritually awoken yet. They haven't found the clarity. Keeping their options open. Kind of like living in la-la land to an extent. Hmm. Yep, you had to move on from someone you feel like was very sneaky, very deceptive, very manipulative here. You just couldn't do it anymore. You feel like this person could have been doing some type of dark magic or moon magic. Mm-mm. -hmm. It puts you in a space where you didn't know what to think, what to do. It's, it just seemed like things were too on and off. And so you had to move on away from this. Yeah. It's almost like their intentions wasn't pure. Their intentions wasn't... You guys just wasn't on the same page. Yeah. You guys may have had many lifetimes together, past life. May have known each other for a long period of time. But it seemed like as time went on, this emperor energy kind of really showed you that they wasn't just for you they were for everybody hmm. all right what is the hierophant in the reverse for scorpio sun moon rising and venus take what resonates guys and leave the rest okay and this is why you're releasing and letting go you can't still hold on to a fantasy you want something real authentic seven of wands so the number 77 is here hmm Almost like in this relationship or marriage, you had to stand your ground. You had to defend yourself. There was a lot of obstacles and challenges in this relationship. Someone wasn't faithful. So you had to cut them off and start working on your own healing. Yeah. Too many trials and obstacles here. Mm. What's the page of cups? Too many, too many. Oh, travel cups. Whoever this is, they're feeling left out in the cold. They're missing you. Yeah. It could be a situation where this person is trying to reach out to you to let you know that they miss you, that they want to come forward. Come your way. But it's still giving me like moon magic or something. Kind of like they're trying to bring things or make things work out in their favor. Tell me more about this five of pentacles. They're missing you. They're hurting without you. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever this is is wanting to tell you, hey, can we start over? I miss you. I don't want us to be separated. But you went through so many obstacles and challenges in this marriage. Definitely could be a water sign here. This person. 
But I feel like this person really don't know how to communicate. Because I've seen a lot of cup energy with them. So it's like a lot of emotions, sadness, disappointment. So instead, they want to fight for what's broken. They kind of hate that it's over. What's the Two of Swords? Thank you. And we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. See, what's catching them off guard is that you're pulling away. You're not wanting to be bothered. You're making peace with the situation. I feel like your ancestors, guys, and the Holy Spirit is communicating with you to kind of like let it go, make peace with the situation. Hmm. Wow. All right. So tell me more about this Seven of Wands for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah. So I feel like this Five of Cups is this person energy. Yeah, they're like beating themselves up because of all the troubles, the obstacles, the challenges that happen to cause this relationship or marriage to be broken. They're, I heard sick to their stomach. Sorry about Shadow. They're kind of like sick to their stomach. They're beating themselves up. They can't sleep. They're being haunted by the fact that you lease, you release and let it go, that the marriage or relationship didn't work out. All of these challenges and obstacles that you guys face. They hate the fact that you just say, hey, enough is enough. It's bothering them. They want another opportunity with you. They know that this situation was a blessing in disguise. But this is someone who could be very broken. To the fact that, you know, they may feel like they're not good enough for you, Scorpio. Yeah. Because see, they're still coming in with breadcrumb energy. But they got to understand the reason why... You're releasing and letting go is because it's not of your highest good. You're tired of being the one that's always supporting, giving. You're not interested in their, um, you know, apologies and what they have to say, whether they miss you or not, whether they want to start over. You're doing this for your highest good. They're at a crossroads. They don't know what to say, what to do. They feel like you're going to automatically reject them if they even try to attempt to call you, reach out to you, saying, hey, I miss you. I want us to reconcile things. I want another opportunity. But this is someone who is living in illusions. They want what they couldn't have, giving their attention to other things. You know? Tell me more about this Two of Swords. And, of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm getting this person may have Aries in their chart or water signs. Tell me more about the two of swords. Wheel of Fortune, fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. See, I feel like you've changed. You've changed. And I feel like they don't know how to handle that. You've changed. And the thing is, see, they're... They just wasn't putting in enough effort here when it came to this marriage. I'm getting like a marriage here that fell apart. They're saddened that it's broken. And I'm not wanting to point fingers because even though they still have this drive and this energy and they know that they want to be with you, but someone here was unfaithful or someone didn't hold down their vow to, or, you know, stay, to stay committed to this relationship. They fought against it, and now it's killing them inside. They didn't put in enough work to hold this family or this relationship down. They sabotaged it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the change was eventually going to happen. I feel like they didn't see this change coming. What's the hermit? Everything started changing. Nothing is the same anymore. You're not the same anymore. Even though they want to reconcile, but this was eventually going to happen. Nine of Cups. Mm. Again, see what I'm saying? They're still breadcrumbing when it comes to you. They're still breadcrumbing. That's why I feel like this person feel like they're not good enough for 
what God has brought in this relationship. You were the blessing. But they chose to be sneaky, deceptive, and invest in other things, put their attention to other things, possibly walk away or left the situation. It's, it's like, why are you surprised that Scorpio is letting it go? You know? Hmm. Now that you're sitting, it's like you're going through a transformation. Or maybe you already have went through a transformation. Again, you're not the same person. Mm -mm. Someone is very selfish, greedy. And you just had to back away out of that. It's kind of like, you know, you can't just want things your way. It has to be for both of us. So it's like you went into like an isolation mode. You only did things that was of your highest good. You fed into your own soul. You made yourself happy. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, guys. So this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. So I do see angel number 77 here. Um, The number 44. 66 those numbers may resonate with you okay peace love and light to all my gods and goddesses and i'll see you on the next reading bye bye